Enemy took A. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Mars and your Logan and today we're going to be getting into the best LW3 Tundra sniper class setup on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So uh, as I did in the last one, uh, attachments are going to be obviously telling you guys why I use each one and uh, what I use them for. So uh, the only one, this one's pretty similar to the uh, Pellington. Uh, the only difference is that the uh, the Barrett, the Barrett I do a little bit different sometimes. But for the Tundra, I like to run the stabilizer so that your gun is not moving all over the place. You want it to be very still. So uh, perfect attachment for that when you're zoomed in. The damage barrel. Now this one is a little bit different for the Tundra. This is where I was saying it's a little bit different than the Pellington. Personally, the damage is already pretty good on the Tundra. So technically, if you really wanted to, you get an extra bullet. You can take that off and you can have the seven round mags. Uh, what would I... Uh, subtract or what would I add for that uh, personally you can run that tiger team so that it gives you that reveal distance which puts a little dot on top of their name um, so you can see them across the map or if you want you can run a site so that's that's a very good thing as well but if you're like me you don't want to get hit markers personally I don't I don't want to risk it I like to run the damage barrel um, if you want to run a site with the damage barrel then go ahead and take off the stabilizer run whatever site you want and you're good to go on that so uh, the barrel for the damage, the uh, bipod is going to be for just more control on your weapon. So uh, put it on, you'll see what I mean. It, it honestly is amazing when you have it on. The 7 round mag so that doesn't increase the ADS speed at all so that it's a, uh, slower, zooms in slower. And then obviously you want the aim down sight speed so you can zoom in quicker and get those quick scopes. Um, and yeah, so whatever secondary you want to run, um, Pellington has the same exact thing. So just run those same exact attachments as I showed you on the Tundra. And then uh, I like to run stun grenades for objectives, Semtex, the field mic for a portable radar. And then for my perks, I like to run flat jacket, uh, ghost, and gung-ho. And how you do that is with the lawbreaker wild card right here, which is going to give you two snipers and a uh, two snipers and be able to choose whatever perks you want out of the three categories. So um, if you're not going to run two snipers and you just want to run the one, then I recommend putting on perk read and running uh, flat jacket, tack mask, scavenger, assassin, and then ghost and ninja, um, just so you don't have to worry about you know all that that bullshit. I really wish that we could have nine bullets, honestly, and um, you know the max damage that would be amazing and the ADS was faster because uh, I'd definitely run perk read. That would be my main and go-to. Just run nine bullets with every sniper. That'd be perfect, but. Sadly, this game is not like that, so we are not doing that. Uh, for the score streaks, I like to run UAV, uh, Air Patrol to take out streaks, and then the Harp to get that advanced UAV. If you don't think you're going to get the advanced UAV, or you don't want to like try for that streak, just go ahead and put on the counter UAV, so you can counter them out like crazy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the best thing to run for that. So the next one's going to be the Barrett. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I have tons of tips videos coming out for you guys, so be sure to subscribe, drop a like, all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it.